Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. You're in for a treat. We're gonna do some gardening, a bit of cooking, a lot of walking. We're gonna look at some flowers as well. Everything I love, just everything I love. We're gonna do it today. It's been a bit of a funny week. We've had to make some big decisions. We are having still to make some big decisions. And just in general, there's a lot of uncertainty in the air and um, I think we're just going to experience quite a lot of disappointment this year, but what can we do? At least we're alive. Right, let's get started with this day. I just want to show you a little delivery I had today. The girl who is doing the flowers for our wedding is selling bunches of flowers and the profits go to the NHS. So I ordered some because she does a big delivery round on a Friday and I ordered one for me and one for my mother-in-law to be. So I'm about to deliver that and I'm actually running a bit late. Um, but I'll show you them because they're just so beautiful. They're so beautiful. Look, I think that's a clematis. We've got some buddleia. It's all stuff that's in season. I cannot wait to put them into a vase, but I'm trying to decide which one is the prettiest so I can give that to my mother-in-law. <laughs> okay, I have given uh, Will's mum's bunch to her and she really liked them. They, s they smell really beautiful. I'm not gonna kiss the flowers like last time. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put them in a vase and see what they look like. I love fresh flowers. You've got to ignore all of the mess behind me. The table is covered in garden things that have arrived. These are little biodegradable pots that I'm going to plant on my seedlings. It is raining and I was hoping to do it outside. And these have been cut today. Um, so they've cut off the end so I don't need to do that again. Um, oh my god, they're all so beautiful. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this particular lady. Or ladies that do the flowers. So all of the flowers at our wedding will have been grown locally. Buy a small business, our friends that we love to support. So I'm really, really happy about that because there's so much that isn't sustainable about weddings. <laughs> so it's really nice to be able to do something that is a bit more sustainable. And it's also supporting a local business. Now with the lockdown, it can't be easy for them. So I'm really, really feeling for them. So they are offering these bunches of flowers. Um, the profits go to the NHS. Uh, they are called Flowers at 58. I'm going to leave their um, details down below and their links so that if you're having a wedding and you're in the local area um, you can maybe have a chat with them because they are just wonderful to work with and very very talented um, or if you live really close to them um, then you can also order a bunch or if you know someone that lives close to them then you can order a bunch for them. Look at this clematis, I have never considered cutting a clematis for flower arranging. This is actually giving me loads of ideas for when I have a garden with cut flowers in it, things I can grow. We go every year to make wreaths with them at Christmas as well, which is so much fun. And what, I always go with my mum to make wreaths at Christmas. Um, but one year my mum was really ill and she couldn't come. So Will came with me instead. So he met them and then we decided to use them for our wedding flowers because we just love what they do so much. I think I need to get better at arranging. I'm not very good at getting everything the right length. I would love to go on a flower arranging course. I wonder once all lockdown is over, that looks better, doesn't it? Once lockdown is over, if, um, if that I'll be able to find one. Or maybe I could talk to Becky and I could book one with her. <laughs> I don't know. Any of you guys interested? Want to come on a flower arranging course with me? Oh my god, that would be so fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Look at these forget-me-nots. I'm growing those in my garden this year. Uh, my friend, my bridesmaid, gave me a, um, a packet of seeds for forget-me-nots. So, I don't think I need a bit more of that. These um, stalks are going everywhere. Look at this. I think this is buddleia. Grows like crazy in our garden. Oh, maybe it's lilac, actually. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm sure one of you will tell me what it actually is. How about that? How pretty? Where's my clematis? Oh no, it's getting squashed. There we are. <gasps> they make me so happy. <laughs> that smell took me back somewhere just then. Anyway. I am now going to do some more gardening, um, but this is a different kind of gardening that I've never done before. I am going to plant a grapefruit tree. I know, how crazy is that? Um, I saw a good deal 
Oh my God, I've just looked out the window and there are two partridges <laughs> eating some seeds I have planted, but I can't be cross because they are delicious seeds. Have a look at this. Can you see them there? That is so annoying. <laughs> I just sprinkled some poppies and I'm pretty sure they are eating them. Oh well, countryside problems. Anyway, as I was saying, I found a really good deal on citrus trees. So I have ordered a lime, an orange, a lemon and a grapefruit tree and only the grapefruit tree has arrived um, but we're going to keep it in our conservatory and our conservatory is such a mess because we left the door open and all of the willow um, buds or seeds or whatever they are leaves and stuff blew in and I haven't had a chance to clear it out but I need to repot it and then I'm going to keep it inside and hopefully one day I may have a grapefruit from my own tree we definitely can't grow them outside it gets too cold here so I'm going to go and do that this is where I've chosen to put the flowers. And I've just seen their card. Flowers at 58. Yes, it's very exciting, isn't it? Oh, yes. And uh, I turned it over and it says, thank you for your order, best wishes. P.S. Your wedding is going to be amazing this year or next. <sighs> it's really sweet of them. But yeah, here it is. It's a, it's a citrus paradisi lovely um, but i'm going to take it out repot it and then bring it back in i'm not seeing any flowers on it but the leaves are so interesting look at the shape of that my new baby you're going to be joining the rest of my tree collection actually i'll just leave him there if i think he's going to be okay in the wind and if you can hear me i'll show you what i've done with my herb garden it's probably too windy but i planted some herbs so sage over there we've got rosemary they were already there and then I've got mint, basil, coriander, thyme and parsley. And they all seem quite happy. And I've just fertilised it. And then here I've got butternut squashes down here, beetroot, carrots, radishes. And damn, what did I put there? More beetroot. We'll just say it's more beetroot for now. <laughs> Okay, so I've balanced you on a little hedge. Um, there is a slug just next to you, so I hope you're okay. Um, but I'm just gonna repot my new tree. Ah, it's exciting. So. Actually, we'll just adjust you slightly. There, that should be better. I've already put some gravel in the bottom so it's got good drainage. There we have it, my new tree. <laughs> oh, I've only got three more to do now when they actually arrive. Um, and then I'll probably be focused on a new kind of tree. <laughs> Not that I will ever forget about you though. Let me know if you've ever had a go at growing grapefruits. And especially if you live in a colder climate, um, we're really lucky to have that conservatory. So hopefully it will keep it warm. But yeah, I'd love to hear your experiences. So I've just got Will to film me because it's so ridiculous. I have just received a package from Amazon of something I ordered a while back. And this came completely flat. And it turns out it's another sun visor that I have bought for doing sport, but it's enormous. <laughs> and I just, I just don't see how it's gonna work. I mean, I mean, the sun's not going to be getting me, is it? So I, I imagined myself running around in this. It's just so much bigger than, than what it looked in the picture. It's like, um, what did I order the other day that was way, way smaller, Will, than what I imagined? Oh, that baking tray. <laughs> yeah, I ordered that baking tray the other day and that spoon as well and bowl. Well, this is just way bigger. <laughs> what do you think, Will? I think you are going to catch wind and fly away. <laughs> 
Um, I'm gonna quickly show you what I'm making for dinner tonight. I have just cut some red peppers in half and I've cut through the stalk. You'll see why later. Well, mainly it's because it looks nice. And then I'm just gonna driz drizzle them with olive oil and put them in until they're just slightly soft in the oven. And then I'm gonna do something exciting. This has always been one of my favorite meals. It's something that my mum used to make for me, make for us all the time. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I've just taken these out and you can see they're just starting to become soft. They're also really hot. <laughs> and you've got to make sure that they're balanced. This is something I should have said before. You've got to make sure that they're balanced um, so that they don't tip over because what we're going to make is like individual little oil, garlic and juice dipping pots. And I'm going to slice up some part baked bread and they'll be able to dip all of the bread and juices and by they I mean Will and me. Um, so what goes into it is some garlic which I'm going to put in in a minute. Um, some sliced tomatoes and I like to do three tomatoes per pepper. Hello helper, you helping? That's good, he can smell anchovies. Um, some chopped up anchovies. Oh shut up, this stupid oven. Oh, it annoys me so much. So I've counted up, I have enough for three tomatoes per pepper. So I'm gonna put all of those in, like that, all loaded. And then I'm going to take some chopped anchovies and I'm just going to evenly distribute them amongst the peppers. Okay, so all of the anchovies are divided and I've also added in some little bits of chopped garlic. And I am just gonna drizzle a little bit more olive oil in each one. And then I'm gonna put in the oven until the peppers look fully cooked. Right, so I've taken them out of the oven. They're all cooked, you can see they're full of juices and I've topped them with some goat's cheese. And I'm gonna put them back in the oven and I've also put in the bread to be cooked. Oh, <laughs> oh we did it. We did it. There's mine, there's Will's, there's a dog, and there's a fiance. You're really trying to tell me you want some. <laughs> you silly boy. <laughs> oh, he lit a candle. So romantic. This is my favorite candle ever. It's um, by Neom and it is the, ooh, <laughs> thanks Will. <laughs> We'll just guess what we're eating, I think. <laughs> um, it's the scent to make you happy. And I've got this in my reed diffusers as well. My mum bought that for me. Yum. And then once you've absorbed all of the juices, you can just eat the peppers. This is one of my favorite meals. So we're just having an ice cream after dinner and there's been a power cut, but luckily we do actually have a candle. We're just trying to play a board game. How do we switch it back on, Will? Is it our problem or the electricity board's problem? We wait. We just wait? We wait and we wait. You don't have to flick a switch or something? I'll go out in a minute, yeah. Oh, so it is our problem. <laughs> right, that's, that's not ideal. <laughs> He's happy. Hello everyone. I've got an excited dog. I think he can anticipate a walk. Um, because what I've got planned is I'm gonna show you some packages I've received. Um, because I think one of them is really funny. Yes, my darling. <laughs> one of them is really funny and then one of them is exciting. And, and then we're gonna go on a walk. But let, let's go and have a look at these packages because one of them, it just made me laugh so much when it arrived through the door. Okay, so this is the envelope. I picked it up, it felt really heavy. It was left outside my door. Inside <laughs> was a strawberry plant in an envelope. It looks pretty damaged, um, but I've asked my aunt who grows strawberries really well and she says that they're really hardy. 
The other package that I've had, which is so exciting, is from Amazon. And I bought this, this is quite a high priced item, uh, but I bought this because I sometimes do surveys and they give me um, Amazon vouchers in return and I let them accumulate until I can kind of treat myself to something. And I bought myself the new Fitbit. It cost 130 pounds. Um, but I've had the previous Fitbit, the Fitbit Charge 2. This is the Charge 4. I've had the Charge 2 now for over two years. Fitbit aren't known for making their products last so long. So I was really impressed that I got two years out of it. But this one's gonna be way better because I can shower with it on. And my heart rate monitor has finally died. It's not monitoring my heart rate anymore. And this one is waterproof and it's got GPS. So I'm very, very excited about that. So I'm gonna do another video at a later date about my exercise routine and how I got into running because I know a lot of you have asked about that and it's quite, I've got quite a lot to say on the matter. Um, but this is my old one, my previous one. How many steps have I done today? Eight and a half thousand steps today. And this is the new one. Oh, everything's so hard to do one-handed, you know? <laughs> Just felt it vibrate. Ah. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to have many happy years together. Hello, I'm in my happy place. Um, those strawberries, whoops, those strawberries that I bought, I thought it was one plant, so I was really annoyed. But it turns out they're loads of individual plants. So we're going to have so many strawberries this summer. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's annoying me that they're all going in different sized pots, but quarantine problems. Yeah, we're just about to go on a walk. I've got a new hat because my other one got really sweaty because I was running in it. It had a nice sweat mark around here, so I invested in a new one. Um, but they didn't have the blue available, so I've got mustard. Um, here are my strawberry plants. Hopefully they'll get a lot of sunlight here. I'm really excited about the possibility of having fresh strawberries from the garden. <laughs> and there's my happy boy. We're about to go on a walk. Also, look. Big. Look at this field. Quite the difference. Do you remember it from last time? It's really coming on. <laughs> Love that game, don't we? Do you know what this is? No! Well that went well. So Will's found an app that will identify plants. That's me, Got right? <laughs> Comes across as 100% weed. Oh, that is so me! <laughs> well go on, let's identify this one, see if it works. Okay. That'd be nice for a flower arrangement, actually. We call that cow parsley. Let's see if you're correct. What does it say? I can't believe technology can do this now. There you go. Cow parsley, a species of chervils. That's so clever. What's the app called? It's called Picture This. Picture This. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me again. Um, sorry if I look a bit tired today. I haven't actually had the best day, but I might talk about that at another time, because I'm sure I'll have to talk to you about it at some point. Um, but we're going to try and cut Will's hair again. I have bought um, proper a proper set of clippers. They cost quite a lot of money. They were the only ones available in the shop. And we ummed and ahed about it, and we thought, actually, let's just go for it, because it will only take maybe three haircuts for it to become worth it financially. And hopefully Will's brothers and his dad can use them as well. So I'm hoping it's a good investment. <laughs> he knows something exciting is happening. Oh, it's exciting. This isn't a nasty growl, by the way. This is like an excitement anticipation growl. <laughs> what have you got in your mouth? Oh, yes. A lovely boy. So this is it, it's by Wall. I don't know if you know it, but it feels really heavy, which always tricks me into thinking that something's a really good quality. 
Okay, this is the hair before. Well, I taking a photo. Oh, <laughs> I thought you looked really cute. Um, yeah, this is the hair before. Go on, give it a swish around. Just flick it without touching with it. With your hand. Okay. Yeah, that is what it looks like. It's very buoyant. I'll see if I can do a better job. Um, yeah, I hope so. What do you think, Diego? <laughs> right, we're ready to go. I've got my number six on, and I'm gonna see if it actually does what it's meant to. Oh yeah, it's working! <laughs> no going back now, Will. <laughs> oh, it looks really good! I'll just walk backwards then. Oh, wow! It's all coming off. Yeah, we definitely didn't have the right equipment before. So where are you going for your holiday? Oh, my holiday. <laughs> um, I don't know, probably stay at home this year, I think. Yeah, probably for the best. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Um, it's all nice and smooth, but there's a little halo around here. And I'm gonna clear up all this bit. So I might do a five down here and then neaten this off with a one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking like I'm a professional. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. This is what I've done. I don't know if you can see. It's a bit higher on that side, isn't it? Let's just let's just have another go. <laughs> Heather, I just attempted a skin fade because I did. I shaved Will's hair into a little point at the back, and he wasn't very happy with it. How are men, How is the back of men's hair meant to be? Shall I show you on on a video? Oh, I don't seem to be able to do that. Oh, I'll. I'll if I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Neither do I, that's why I'm calling you. Okay, alright, okay. <laughs> no, I wouldn't take that any shorter. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say that. I might, I might look like Fry Attack. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, you don't. You don't. It doesn't look that bad. It's... It will grow back. What are you doing with that top bit? That's what I was going to ask. Like that? Yeah, and now just snip that little bit. Don't worry if it's not too straight, it'll be fine. Oh yeah, that's good, that looks good. Yeah. So you need to work all the way around. Okay. Fab. Okay, so we've just phoned my mum's best friend who is a really good hairdresser and she just gave me a great tip, so. Like this. Yeah. Just like that. Oh, it's very, very sticky. <laughs> So there it is, Will's haircut. Are you happy with it? I am happy with it, yes. Yeah, so this is the back. I could do with some more blending here. I think I need the blending shears. And I did have trouble with this bit here, as you can see by the tan line, because I left in Will's natural point and then he said it looked too pointy. So I shaved it off and then we regretted that. If I saw you on a night out and I didn't know you, I would probably smile at you from a distance. <laughs> That's how I used to flirt, right? <laughs> So that's it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed filming it and um, I feel like we got a good amount done this week. Um, I did, I had actually planned to sit down and talk to you more about some things that have been going on. Uh, one of them is what we should do with our wedding, but we've got a couple of decisions to make quite quickly. So I think we're going to make them and then talk to you about them. <laughs> it's just a shame. It's just a shame because everything was planned everything was going really well and I was just really ready to be married <laughs> and I still am really ready to be married I just want to be Mrs Will I really do um but I'll talk to you more about that another day I think um once I've had a chance to make some decisions with Will and also process my emotions a little bit um I know there are worse things in the world and the most important thing is that we are marrying each other and that we love each other. You know, a wedding on top of that is just the icing on the cake really. Oh, fantastic, Luce, well done. I have also got another huge project that I'm working on and I'm hoping to be able to show you a little more about the launch of it and behind the scenes of it and what it is. It's a life-changing project actually. Uh, for me and hopefully for other people as well. Um, so yes, I'll be filling you in on that 
I will see you soon for another vlog.